Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to discuss with you about the partial differential equations and uh, my main uh, topic today will be about the formation of partial differential equation by uh, with the two methods. Now let's see uh, before going over to that topic, let's see what kind of differential equation are known as partial differential equation. So a differential equation, uh, it involves two or more than two independent variables and one dependent variables. Here, if we talk about the two, here x and y are an independent variable and z is taken as a dependent. So we can take a partial derivative of z with respect to these two independent variables. So if you see, these are some first order with respect to x and with respect to y. And then we can talk about the second order derivatives and third and so on. So any expression which involve the dependent variable, independent variable and their derivatives of any order equals to zero, you call it a partial differential equation. Now there are some standard notations. Uh, the first order partial derivative of z with respect to x can be denoted by p or it can also written as this. You are all aware of that we write down the these two symbols. But in the partial differential equation, you will observe some more uh, notations. Small letter p is derivative with respect to x. Q stands for with respect to y. R stands for when you are differentiating z with respect to 2 times x. And S stands for when you are differentiating with respect to x and y both. And T stands for when you are differentiating with respect to y double time. Now we will see um, the order of partial differential equation is the highest order appearing in the partial differential equation. And uh, as we have seen that notation, the first order partial differential equation symbolically can be written in this form. It means the expression which involves the x, y, z and the first order only. If the first order is there, you call it a first order partial derivative. If the presence of second order is there, it is called the second order partial differential equation. Now we are going to discuss the main part of the today's lecture is how to form a partial differential equation. So in the partial differential equation, there are two uh, methods. The number one is by eliminating or uh, by elimination of ar arbitrary constants. So if you see the expression is a relation between x, y, z with two arbitrary constant. Here I have taken small a letter and b equals to 0. So you want to form a partial differential equation from it. So what we need to do is we have to eliminate a and b. So we'll differentiate partially with respect to x and y. We get three expressions. The number one is the main one which is talking about x, y, z, a, b. And the number two will be with respect to x differentiation part. And number third will be with respect to uh, y. So what we need to do is we will uh, try to eliminate the a and b from these two expression. And whatever relation we'll get, it is called the, the partial derivative equation. So we have uh, various forms. So let's see one by one. The first form example, here the relation between x and y is z is equals to ax square plus by square. So here you will observe that in this case, uh, these are the arbitrary constant a and b and we want to eliminate it. So I'll call it the equation number one. And first we will differentiate this with respect to x. So if you differentiate with respect to x, you are getting 2ax. Or you can also, because here there is no x, so it will be 0. So it is 0. So this implies that I can write it equals to p, if you want to write down the brief notation. So we get 2ax. So from here, I got a value. A value comes out to be p upon 2x. So this is my second equation. And what I'm going to do is, I'll take the again equation number uh, 1 and we will differentiate with respect to y. So when you differentiate with respect to y, we are getting 2by and we know that this is also known as q and this is equals to 2by and from here we will get the value of b becomes out to be q upon 2y and that become my equation number 3. Now what we need to do is we have to substitute this equation in the first one. So my relation is z is equals to ax square here. ax square plus by square. So what I am going to do is, let us put this value. So I am going to put this value z equals to, let's put z equals to ax square. So in place of a, I am going to put p upon 2x and this is x square. 
and in place of p b i am going to put q upon 2y and that become y square one x square will get cancelled this one y will get cancelled and we are getting 2 in the LCM so 2 can be taken as LCM and shifted to the other side so it is px plus qy so we are getting a partial differential equation of order 1 so this is our first example similarly you can do the second example here if I want to differentiate the first with respect to if this is the first equation differentiation of z with respect to x so I can call it a p this will be a times 1 and all the terms are 0 because there is no x so write a is equals to p is my first relation I got and similarly if I differentiate this with respect to y y means with respect to y stands for q and here it is 0 here I am getting um, b and all terms are 0 so I got p equals to q now put it in equation 1 this is the second this is the third equation so equation 1 so from 1 2 3 from equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 I got z is equals to in place of a uh, we can write down p so it is px it is q a y and uh, plus a square means b square b square means q square so this becomes the partial differential equation now let's see the third example here z is equals to x plus c y plus d so let's uh, discuss first we will differentiate with respect to x so if i differentiate with respect to x this is equals to x is in this first bracket so derivative of x is 1 and c is 0 so i got 1 in this bracket and y plus d being a constant will be written as it is so i can get zx is equals to y plus d or you can also call as a p equals to y plus d so i got one relation here p value y plus d value comes out to be p and similarly when you differentiate with respect to y we got here x plus c is a constant multiplied to y plus d and derivative of y is 1 or you can say q is equals to x plus c so here we are observing that y plus d which can say in the arbitrary constant d is there and x plus c can be replaced by p and q so we are going to substitute here so when you substitute from 1 2 3 what do we get i can write down z here so z equals to here x plus c comes out to be q and y plus uh, d comes out to be p so we got a z is equals to q into p or p into q is the solution that is a partial differential equation in this example number four uh, what do we get we are observing that x minus a square here is the arbitrary constant in y minus p all square b is the arbitrary constant so what we are going to do is we are differentiating both sides partially with respect to x so when you differentiate partially with respect to first i'll do with respect to x so what do we get two times x minus a is equals to because here it is zero so the side is zero I got derivative of first with respect z is 2z into del z by del x or zx or we can say 2 2 will get cancelled I get x minus a value comes out to be z into I can replace del z by del x by p this is just a notation because if you want to write a brief symbol for it you can use it otherwise you can keep your notation del z by del x so your differential equation can be in any form similarly when you are differentiating with respect to y so what do we get zero because there is no y and you are having two times y minus b into one and you are having two z and this is del z by del y and two two will get cancelled I got a y minus b value comes out to be I'm again replacing over here is a q so that becomes my second expression so that is my second expression so I got this second expression in terms of y minus b so I'll if I call it a first equation second equation and third equation and using 1 2 3 from 1 2 and 3 what do I get I'll get here 
because x minus a substitution can be z in p so it will be z square p square plus y minus b z and q so we have to square it our main goal is elimination so where whatever procedure and elimination can help us we will do so here z square can be taken out common and our answer become because p square plus q square is equals to 1 so that become the partial differential equation now you can see that in the last four questions the first order was enough but sometimes if first order is not uh, giving us elimination possible we can go for second order so let's see one example out of it if i want to find out the differential equation partial differential equation from here so let me first differentiate with respect to x if i am dif differentiating with respect to x so here x and t are the independent variable so when i differentiate with respect to x it is here in sine ome omega x so c is a constant e to the power minus omega t is a constant and derivative of this sine omega is omega times cos of omega x so i got this value which is equals to c omega e to the power omega t cos of omega x if i differentiate with respect to y not y here t so when i differentiate with respect to t t is present here so differentiation of e to the power so first is c is a constant sine omega x is a constant e to the power anything is e to the power same and i have to multiply with minus omega so it comes out to be minus c omega e to the power minus omega t sine of omega x now if i stop over here and try to find out elimination of these are the two arbitrary constant one is this omega another one is the c so by first order derivative we are not able to uh, get it because if i substitute it uh, c omega value from here i still trigonometric term stan will contain it so what we are going to do is let us differentiate once more with respect to x if i differentiate this with respect to again x so if, if i differentiation with respect to again x so here when i differentiate uh, cos omega x again so c is already constant uh, this will be e to the power minus omega t and i got minus omega is already there so i get one more omega and it will be derivative of cos is sine omega x into minus uh, sine omega x into minus omega so it not minus plus omega this minus is from the derivative of cos so after simplification zxx comes out to be minus c omega square e to the power minus omega t and you are getting sine omega x so that become my equation number two now if i differentiate with respect to t again so here uh, i get c i get sine omega x and uh, i get e to the power minus omega t again and minus omega minus omega become a here one more omega square so we are getting uh, c omega square e to the power minus omega t sine omega x that become my equation two now what i am observing here this value this value if from from these two equation form equation number uh, this is one this is equation number two and this is equation number three from two three what i'm observing this value c times omega square e to the power minus omega t sine omega x is equals to this value so i can write down z x x is equals to minus will be remain but this value comes out to be z t t double time so i got a second order partial differential equation derivative of z with respect to x plus the derivative of z with respect to 2 times z equals to 0 so that become my second order partial differential equation so second order is uh, coming across when the first order is not giving us a elimination possible so we can go for the second order otherwise as far as possible all the differential equation can be done by first order thank you